hello welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome and i hope you stay today i'm going to show you how i make my fish powder without the oven i'm going to do everything on the stove so without wasting time let's just get started so i've got my fish over here this is a kind of uh, tuna a smaller version of tuna i have washed and cleaned it very well i'll just come in with a sharp knife and cut it into pieces i mean in all i'm gonna cut it into about five pieces including the head so after cutting everything i'll put it in a pan and come in with some water i'll cover this up put it on medium flame and let this cook for about 20 minutes so it's been after about 20 minutes it's cooked very well i'll just go ahead and I get rid of the bones and the skin. Afterwards, and uh, using my hands, I'm just gonna flake it into a larger pan. So after flicking everything, I'll put it on a low flame. This is the lowest of flames. This is very vital. Don't put it on a medium or high flame or else it's going to burn. And uh, using my wooden ladle, I'll stir frequently. so you need to be patient with this i mean you can stir and leave it alone for about a minute or two but it shouldn't be more than that or else it's gonna burn i'm gonna keep stirring till all the water has evaporated now this is gonna take about 40 minutes so as you can see it's very dry now it's powdery there is no more water and it's ready so i'll just put off the flame and let it cool down so ladies and gentlemen yes this is how i make my powdered fish now you can use this for soups for stews for any recipe which involves fish you can store those in your cabinets, but if you want it to last longer, you can keep it in your fridge. So this is how I make my fish powder without using the oven. I hope I did help you and I hope you do give this a try. If you do, let me know how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye!